Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Continuing with our look at the Fender Player 2 series today with the Telecaster with the beautiful slab rosewood fretboard at $7.99. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this Tele. It's been revamped. I love what Fender has done. I'm gonna put it on the bench and pull it apart, and then of course, I'm gonna plug it in and play it. <laughs> At the top, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, click to buy new gear using our link. You help us make these demos when you buy new gear using our link, any gear. And in the States, you'll get fast free shipping and easy payment plans. It makes buying new gear super easy. If you're in Europe, you can check out our Toman link down below too. And when we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're giving away an American made Martin acoustic guitar. So to win that guitar, make sure you're subscribed. Hit subscribe right now if you haven't and sign up via Glean. You'll find all the information you need pinned in the comments or down in the description. All right, let me give you a look at this beautiful Fender Player 2 Telecaster with the Rosewood fretboard. You can also check out our demo on the Maple fretboard, but this one is looking great. All right, check this out. They're calling this color Birch Green. You can use our link to see the other color choices. They all look fantastic. And the star of the show here is the Rosewood fretboard. So they've upgraded from the Player 1 series, which was a Powell Ferrell board, to this slab Rosewood, which looks beautiful on this Telecaster. And I love the colors, I really do. Three-ply pickguard looks sharp. They've also gone with these upgraded slot tuners. They're kind of vintage style. I call them quick loaders. I actually really like the look of this. And um, these are called Classic Gear Tuners, which are an upgrade from Player One. And the rest of this is really just going to be a no-nonsense Telecaster. Uh, you got your single coil pickups in this one. We'll also review the configuration in Player Two with two humbuckers, which is really sharp. Uh, but again, a, an affordable at $7.99 Telecaster. No extra bells or whistles, just exactly what you want out of a solid Telecaster with a modern playability too. So I'll give you all the specs. Why don't we hit the bench and get some measurements before we plug it in? Feels great, good weight too. All right, starting up at the top of the headstock, you have this nicely tinted gloss headstock with the spaghetti letter Fender logo in gold, which looks great. Give you a closer look at these vintage inspired slot tuners. Those are the classic gears, and it really completes the look if you ask me, especially for what I consider to be kind of a 60s inspired Telecaster anytime you have that rosewood. Back of the neck, you're gonna have a modern C-shaped neck. It's a slimmer neck, and it's noticeably a satin feel. So while you have the gloss on the face of the headstock, you've got satin on the back of the neck for a very smooth, uh, playable experience. Another look at that beautiful piece of rosewood. So glad they're doing that. Coming down to the body, uh, you can see just nice, nice color choices. Some of these are even vintage colors that were in the Fender vault and never went into production. But this one, just beautiful birch green. Couple other great options. There's a white and a blue. Three ply pick guard. These are the Player Series Elnico 5 single coil pickups. They sound great. They sound exactly what you'd expect Telecaster pickups to sound like. And then you've got a more modern style bridge. It's kind of an homage to the ashtray. Uh, but then you have six adjustable saddles for more stable intonation. And then you got standard controls, three way blade, uh, volume and tone. And then importantly, you have string through body to give you that nice Telecaster resonance. And uh, also, we'll take a closer look at this. I love that 60s and 70s style F Fender logo. So let's get the strings out of the way and get some measurements. Closer look at that 70s style F stamped Fender logo. Love that on the back. Go ahead and flip this around. We've got an alder body. I'll give you a look at the raw alder as I pop this neck out and get a look at the factory marks down in the neck pocket. And then you have a modern nine and a half inch radius for a modern feel, a uh, very playable guitar. A few factory marks, barcode for moving around the factory. And uh, just again, taking a look at the neck, that satin feel on the back of the neck is a standout. And then you have the modern truss rod adjustment at the top of the headstock, which makes it much easier to adjust. Let's go ahead and get some measurements on the neck. Nut comes in at 1.65 inches. First fret at 0.86 inches, up to 0.89 inches at the 12th. Got that cutting board alder Telecaster body. I love this style, just the slab body and that's coming in at 1.78 inches thick. I'm gonna flip up this pickguard, give you a look. It's already routed for humbucker underneath that pickguard, give you a look at the back of the hand-wired Alnico 5 single coil pickups for the Tele, which sound great in the player series. Go ahead and lift up the control cavity cover here. You see 250K CTS pots, the blade switch, again, everything hand-wired and shielding down in the cavities as well. Nice clean routes on the, on the body as well. We'll go ahead and flip on the multimeter, get a reading on these pickups. So definitely a standout feature of the tellies in the series is that the bridge pickup is pretty hot. This is reading 10.0 compared to a 7.6, which is still hot for the neck. And we have a combined of 4.4, so consistent from the maple to the rosewood telly, hot bridge pickup in this. 
Let's get a weight. Seven pounds, 12 ounces, we'll call it uh, seven and three quarters pounds. I'm flipping it around here. Nice ring unplugged, satin feel of the neck as a standout. Yeah, good, good ring to the guitar. Uh, we're gonna plug it in in a second. Remember, if you're in the market for any gear, click to buy new gear using our link. It does help us make these demos. This really always is my favorite part. We'll get it plugged in, I'll show you clean tones, we'll dirty it up, and then I'll let it sing behind a track. On the other side of the playing demos, I give you my honest reaction to playing this guitar along with a final score. So stay tuned and drop a comment as we go. Let's get started.
All right, the Player 2 Telecaster upgraded nicely with these new tuners, this beautiful slab rosewood fretboard. You stuck with me in the end. So I'm going to tell you my favorite things about this guitar. I'm going to give it a final score. I base that final score on three main categories, overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. First, if you decide you're in the market for this guitar, or any other for that matter, click to buy new gear using our link. It really does help us make these videos, so thanks for doing that. All right, let's talk about this guitar. When it comes to playability, I think it has a very nice, slim, modern C-shaped neck. The satin feel is really nice for getting around. There's, there's no stick to it. It's just real silky smooth satin finish on the back of the neck. The slab of rosewood feels great. I always enjoy playing a guitar with rosewood. From a playability standpoint, the setup is great. Uh, there's no cosmetic issues with the guitar. Everything was great, even the weight at seven and three quarters, good weight for a Telecaster. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.0 on overall playability. This guitar did not get in my way. Now when it comes to overall sound, these Alnico 5 pickups are the same from the Player 1 series, but I think they nail them. They do exactly what a Telecaster should do in terms of the expected tones, and they're actually a little bit more because they're higher output. That Alnico 5 is a stronger magnet, and you get a little bit higher readings on the pickups, I think when you push the pickups with more dirt or a little fuzz or harder drive, it really brings this into a more modern focus as a very playable guitar in a lot of genres and styles. Sound, I'm very impressed for what I get out of this tele. I'll go ahead and give it a 9.1 on overall sound. And then when it comes to value, at $799, let's talk about the fact that they went with upgrades, which I think they needed to make, but they didn't increase the price, and that makes me happy. The only thing this guitar is missing is a gig bag or a case, so get yourself some type of gig bag or maybe a hard shell case. And at $7.99 though, I can't fault it. It competes nicely now in this price range of under $1,000. You'd be competing with something like the PRS SE line. And Fender has upped their game, a noticeable improvement from player one to player two. I'm very happy. I'll go ahead and give it a 9.0 on overall value. That's gonna bring us to a final score for the Player 2 Telecaster with a Rosewood board of 9.0. Solid score, great guitar for somebody looking for a no-nonsense Telecaster. Remember to use our link if you're in the market for any gear. It really helps us make these demos and we really appreciate it. You can get this guitar with no interest, payment plans. That's super convenient, super easy to get your hands on new gear. Check all that out, pinned in the comments or down in the description. Remember to be in it to win it. We're giving away that Martin Acoustic guitar when we hit 100,000 subscribers. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't and sign up via Gleam. All that's down below. I'm John for Playing Trade Guitars. That's Zach behind the camera. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out.